This is being filmed on the beautiful 550 acre campus of Eden Valley Health Institute. Many people have not even heard of Eden Valley, but they've been here over 50 years. This is such a wonderful place. How did I come to, to, to come to Eden Valley? Well, that's an interesting story. We were scheduled for surgery, but then as it turned out, my cancer metastasized and I couldn't have surgery. So instead of coming here for surgical uh, recuperation, we decided to come here and avail ourselves of the wonderful health programs that they had available. So that's just what we did. We were welcomed with open arms. Everyone was so friendly, so loving, so kind, so accommodating. You just can't imagine what this environment is like until you're here and actually witness it yourself. It was pretty surreal, pretty challenging for my wife and I because we didn't know what the future was gonna hold. Um, our lives have been wrapped up in mission service for the past eight years. The one thing we did know is we were in God's hands. We, tears, tears were shed. It was, it was definitely a challenging thought of going into cancer. Um, we're relatively young, you know, early 30s and it was it was terrifying. I mean, we have with with having three kids, we had anywhere from four, or excuse me, three, seven, and nine, and the impact it would have on them, the the potential to no longer have them be around, and it was it was rough thinking of that. The reason I came to Eden Valley was because I was mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausted. Every joint, every muscle in my body ached. I couldn't hardly sleep at night, and that hasn't always been the case. I travel a lot, probably 20 days out of the month. Um, on my last trip home, I hurt so bad, I had to ask for a wheelchair to go between planes. So I decided enough is enough. I went through depression for probably three or four weeks, and after I got over that, um, then I decided I need to do something. So that's when I started doing a bunch of research and I had talked to a gal that I had worked with that had come to Eden Valley. And so I went and did a bunch of research on them and a couple other places and then I chose to come to Eden Valley. And then when I got here, it was just uphill from the day I got here. <laughs> they keep you busy from 5.30 in the morning till nine o'clock at night, but it's a good busy. Um, you're out walking every day, you're in the sunshine every day. Where the facility is located is a Garden of Eden for sure. <laughs> it's just green, the sky is blue, the air is clear. It, it's, it just makes you feel so good to be here. It makes you feel relaxed to be here. I have no more aches, I have no more pains. I used to have these horrible knots in the top of my shoulder that hurt just to lay on them. They were awful. Those are gone. The pain's not there. Uh, before transplant, they did a scan and I was cancer free. Afterwards, they've done two scans as well. And um, it appears that my body's in remission, the cancer's in remission, I mean. And so it's been a huge weight lifted off of our shoulders. And I, I couldn't have done it with the, without the help of God. Um, my, my prayer support team, uh, the folks at Eden Valley and the doctors, uh, my oncologist down in Denver. I was showing remarkable results for quite a while, and I still am. But my type of cancer is one that has a tendency to adapt itself to um, treatment. So I don't know what's in the future for me. All I know is that I function perfectly well, even with tumors in my abdomen. And I praise God for that, because every day that God gives me it's a blessing. I, I didn't really, I hadn't really fallen away from it, but I wasn't as involved in the faith as I was when I came here. They pray for everything. You have Bible study every morning. I have learned more in the last two weeks about the Bible than I have in my entire life because I never, I always traveled and never really had a church that I could um, focus on to learn. These people have given me so many resources to go and learn online studying. Um, 
it's been wonderful. So when I get back home, I was already looking for a church since I'm not working now. So I know where to go now. I'm going to go to the Seventh-day Adventist. So anyway, but yeah, I got nothing bad to say about anything. And praise the Lord for everything he's done for me.